Hello, so in my last video, I showed you how to create and execute a shell script, a simple shell script that created this uh, added names to this um, file.txt file. And here was the is the shell script. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to execute this shell shell script from within a Python um, program. And so it's real easy. Now you can have all kinds of things going on in your Python program, but to execute the shell script, you just need these two lines in there at some place. Um, your import subprocess, and so uh, with all your imports, you would need that to be a part of that. And then um, to execute your um, shell script, you call subprocess.call and in parentheses and then in square brackets, sh is the command. And um, then basically the, the name of our shell script, which is scripty.sh. This um, period forward slash basically says we're doing this within the directory that we are already in. Um, and honestly, that would be a problem if I ran that right now, it wouldn't actually run. Because as you see, this file's in a different directory than the um, shell script file. And so quick way to make sure that I'm running uh, the right file is to right click on my shell script, uh, get info, and I'm just gonna copy the where it says where this is. If I copy that, I actually should be able to Get rid of that and paste it right in here and now that's the address to where my shell script is um, and now I can go ahead and press run and you see right down here that it runs my program uh, welcome to the shell script please enter a name um, I'll enter a name John and I'm gonna press enter and it said welcome John Thank you for adding your name to the list. And um, that name was added to the, to the list there. Um, one thing I'll point out uh, is I did go in to my shell script. I am um, nano, uh, use nano, um, which is a uh, terminal based text editor. And as you see, I put that address, that full address to my file.txt in these two different areas here where it's writing to it <clears throat> and it's important because it's going to call it and if if i didn't have that full address there it would create a new file um, in this directory here um, but i want to access where the old file was and so that's how you do that and then i just this is reading the file right here the cat line so that's it um that's all it takes to go ahead and, and execute a shell script from within a Python program. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I hope you found this useful. Thanks.